Uh, tell us about your group, Kabang, and how you guys got together. So Lauren, first Lauren Bacon and I joined together and we called ourselves Bang, Bacon plus Yang. And then Kimmy joined and uh, we tried, we thought for a moment about what will, how do we resolve the name thing? And my husband said, oh, Kabang. The, the key to doing this is to record it all to a master track. If you videotape yourself, you get exactly what you need to do to maybe improve or the timing or the, the tone or the, the your look, you know? You just do it for yourself, if, if you, even if you don't sing with another group. You're lovely with your smile so warm. And I want to ask you, do you pay attention to any techniques or do you work on any goals to get a certain sound that you want? Um, I actually do because I, I have favorite singers. Like, I actually, I could do all of Diana Krall's songs because I sing in her key. You remember that one, don't you? When you go karaoke singing, you generally have to go in and choose a song and they don't switch the pitch for you. So what you do is you practice songs of artists who sing in your key. Okay, that's way before your time, I guess. I must have lived in a different century. That's There Will Never Be Another You. Okay. No, 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 that's, no, no, no. Well, no some of them are too young, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't born yet. When I play music, I usually think of um, the simplest structure from which to build an improvised line or melody, or even the harmony. And that usually stems from what we know as the major scale. Okay. And the major scale can be played in different keys. This is the key of D, key of E, F, and so on. I could say, make a rule that says, every time I play a, a note in the melody, I'm going to try to harmonize it with a chord that is not in that key. Cause I don't really know a thing about why you hide, so tell me more. The way you lean into my arms, I can't believe that. What do you try to achieve in terms of your playing, the sound that you want, and do you practice a lot to get that? Lately I've been trying to make my voice sound kind of serene or, or more graceful, like instead of going, I'm sick of learning disillusionment, like some kind of riff, like I play with dynamics and I play with the timbre of my voice and really try to feel out what I like, like and instead of doing that I go, I'm sick alone in disillusionment. It's like, it's very simple. And there are slides, there's stylistic slides, but um, I try to make it so that um, basically less is more. History of our misery, baby, we could find peace. And this mystery of what you mean to me, there's really no way of knowing. I'm so enchanted. 